So this is gonna be an abstract landscape with no plan. I haven't even mixed my paints, so I'm just even gonna be grabbing paint out of the palettes, not even properly mixed, which is not a great idea, but um, we'll see how that goes. So um, this paper I'm using is uh, Hanamula. It's uh, 300 GSM, I'm pretty sure, and um, it's a much cheaper alternative. So let's just go, let's, let's start with some warms, eh? A little bit of a, little bit of yellow ochre. Let's just, oh, a bit weak. Nice, let's just. Gonna have different brushes for different colors. It's a good way to go. So I'm just gonna use different brushes. Just gonna come in here. What are we gonna do? Up a bit, eh? It's gonna get a bit more yellow ochre here now. Yeah. Let's get a bit of a some sort of dark. Let's get a little bit of this. We've got a bit of Payne's grey happening here, eh? this out a bit. up well it's slightly tilted at the moment very interesting color beginnings let's just hair dry this down here
Let's just bring in a bit of that down here. I'm just using a tissue at the moment just to lift out a little bit of a light. This random painting. All right, so I think this painting is uh, finished. We're gonna dry it, but actually, I think it's done. I've got 40 seconds before it stops recording. I think this is all good. I know I haven't talked much during this video tonight. I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I just feel like creating and, uh, and not talking and they don't go together all the time. So yeah, I'm, I'm sorry if that's not ideal, but sometimes it is about just watching and learning and then you taking away what you want from it. And, and, and in some ways that being You know, that, that, that being your responsibility to watch and learn and, and try and figure some of that stuff out for yourself a bit. You can see as I'm drying this with the tissue, because there's a lot of water, there's a lot of water flowing down. I've got it tilted at the moment which I could probably lie flat now, but I just didn't really want it going back up that way. All right, let's try this. So I'm not quite done. This is a bit jarring here. And I thought I could just do some distant mountains there that might look good, so we'll see. Don't want to stuff it. I don't want to stuff it up, but you know, we'll just see how this goes. So, first thing I want to do is just get rid of this a bit. So, I'm just going to tilt this up and just spray this out. There we go, beautiful. And then, just to dry it a bit, I'll just drain the tissue across. And then, I'm just going to come in with a little bit of just a hint of something. I'm just going to use my Nice round sable here to just spray 
Bring that out a bit. I want this to be hugely vague. Hugely vague. I've just got to, there's a bit too much light just here that's just, um, taking away from what I want to be the subject. Which is up here. And while I'm at it, I'm just going to increase the contrast here, just very slightly. So slightly. Right, let's have another look. Right, thank you for joining me tonight. I think this painting is finished. I was going to maybe come in with some much more darker tone here or scratch out a really solid white line here, but actually on looking at it, I think I've decided just leave it as it is. It's, it's a very much more sort of abstract and uh, landscape that you really you have to work it out for yourself sort of what it represents and that sort of thing so thanks for joining me tonight if you liked this video then it would be lovely if you pressed like if you would uh, like to know about future videos and press the subscribe button and if you would like uh, to support me or to get some help with your watercolor then join me on patreon uh, it's in the link in, in the description below. So thanks very much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Good night.